with that awareness that you guys had coming off the show, what have you guys learned about yourselves and each other now in this engagement being long distance and not being able to be with each other all the time? Um, shoot, for me, I mean, like, we're both kind of the type of people that whenever we're upset, like, we just need to, like, hey, give me 510, we're good. You know, and 510, we come back, it's like, oh, what are we fighting about? Like, this this is nothing. You know, mm-hmm. but, like, you know, without that 510, you know, the fight can kind of, like, grow from there. But if Michelle and I take our 510, we're good. Not a big yeah. That's definitely yeah. like, that's that's my takeaway of how how her and I like handle toughy situations is like give me five ten give Michelle five ten and we're good so yeah I think I mean just even with me and Nate what I've realized is that a lot of times we're saying or agreeing on the same thing but the way Nate communicates and the way I communicate and the way that we receive communication is very very different than we're both used to and so there's times where it's like we get done like working something out and it's like we were saying the same thing the whole time but Mm -hmm. I was hyper focused on this area and you were hyper focused on this area where you know for me I just I'm very I want you to know what I mean and like my meaning and you know for him he's he's very literal also and so it's like we kind of go back and forth but like Nate said, just taking that five to 10 minutes, I feel like we're able to, I'm able to think through the emotions part. He's able to think through the literal part. And then we come back and we're like, okay, like we're, we're both on the same page. This is what we need moving forward. We're good. Move on. That's beautiful because that directly reflects what you guys both said, what you've learned from each other. I mean, Michelle, you were saying Nate helps you really hunker down and see what really matters in that breath work. Nate, you were saying you as a person, you need a process and literally go through every single focal point of things. And then that's what's making you guys' relationship strong and long distance. Like, are you mm-hmm. kidding me, y'all? That is amazing. <laughs> How not symbolic even, are we? It's like, <laughs> oh, <five> man. <laughs> but not even the fact that like long distance is hard enough and being in a relationship with, you know, men and women operate very different differently for the most part. And add on the fact that you are in the public eye and everybody saw your relationship unfold and of course have their two cents to say about you two and have their opinions and their comments and their criticism that layer adds on so much extra stress and if you can just recognize that and be able to talk through that and like still have each other's backs and be supportive and get through whatever the argument or conflict is is so important um and it, and it, and it, it's always probably going to be that way. I mean, just speaking from experience, that's always going to be there. It makes it so difficult, but it's good that you guys are both on the same page and can kind of take that five to 10 talk through, you know, okay, you're probably coming at it this way. I'm coming at it this way. Let's meet in the middle and work through. This is so important. 